What's going on guys? It is Michael from GPRisers.com and today we finally have our processors in and everything like that and we can finally get our RTX 3070 Ti's put onto this rig. Now back here, as you guys knew in the last video, uh, we have our holding rigs ready to go. However, I wanted to get this whole rig done first. As you can see here, I do have seven of these 3070 Ti's and we do have two more right here. Now I am going to hold off putting a seventh one on for now, but I am going to go ahead and do three on the bottom and three on the top. And I will add in that seventh one on the top. Um, you know, if the, the wattage comes out to being right around that 80%. And that 80% is of course on our 1600 watt power supply. We have everything all ready. Um, as you guys saw in the last video, we are going to be using our eight capacitor risers along with each card being powered by one of our 18 AWG splitters. So I'm not gonna go as in depth as I have on other videos regarding the RTX 3070 Ti's. This will be the seventh build that we do have of these cards. So in this video, I'm just going to unbox them, get them all on the risers, get it turned on, get it optimized, and let you guys know the full hash rate for this rig. Along with that, I will go ahead and be measuring the total system pull to see if we can add that seventh card to this. But I will likely get that in another video. So that said, I'm gonna get this moved over a little bit. I do have just this plastic table for now. I am thinking of getting a rolling cart here, and not a rolling cart, but one of the uh, one of those toolboxes that have like the wood top to it. So I am looking for one of those. If you guys have any recommendations, uh, please drop a comment down below. Enough of that, let me go ahead and get that moved over and get these unboxed and we will be right back. All right guys, so we are back here. I got all of the cards taken out of the boxes. We do have two Asus Tufts, an EVGA uh, for the win three, two of these Zotac Hollow Black Amp Editions, and a MSI Gaming X, I think, Gaming Trio X, or maybe Z, I think. I don't know what they did for the, the new ones. But anyways, we got our eight capacitor risers here. I did go ahead and remove the 1X chips because we will be using the motherboard that utilizes the 12 uh, USBs rather than having the 1X slots in there. Now we do get risers that are returned to us, um, whether they're DOA or you know whether or not someone just decides that they don't want them anymore. We do use them in our farm. So these were returned actually to us. Uh, they said that they were DOA and we tested them and they were fine. So. Uh, maybe it was something on their end, but it doesn't matter. We, as always with all of our products, we offer free returns, no questions asked, but that is a fun fact. A lot of the times, uh, majority actually of all the risers we use in our rigs are returned to us. We will be utilizing our 18 AWG splitter cables. Here you can see, we actually do have our logos put onto these now. So that's a nice little touch. So each card will be powered with a single cable as these only will be pulling about 180 watts. So as I've mentioned in the other videos, I do like the EVGA 1600 watt power supplies. They do come with nine eight pin VGA cables. Now that's particularly nice with these 3070 Ti's or just six cards in general because you can use six dedicated eight pins for each card and then you can use three dedicated eight pins to power your six risers. So I will actually be using six splitters, one on each card, and then each riser will be powered again by a splitter cable. One single splitter cable here will actually power two risers. So nine VGA ports work perfect for this kind of setup. However, if I did wanna add that seventh card, I would have to remove one of the VGAs from here and switch to a Molex connection, which this kind of power draw, I would feel comfortable using a Molex connection. I actually did get a new tester for wattage in. This new thing that I did get in will be able to tell us exactly how much wattage is being pulled from the splitter, which is very important to know, especially on higher powered cards. And these do consume about 180 to 200 watts. So I wouldn't say that they're a low wattage card by any means, but when comparing it to a 3090 or 3080 or 3080 Ti, um, they are, you know, well, 3080s are 220 watts, but um, these are, I guess you could say mid-range. 
So that is why I would consider Molex being a viable option. So enough of that. Let me go ahead and get these risers put on to our frame. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump also and get three of these cards installed on the bottom row. I do believe I will be putting these three down there. And then I will be putting these three on top. I am going to start with only three boot up minor stat, make sure that they're showing up okay. And once I can confirm that, I will apply the same overclocks that I have put onto my other 3070 Ti rigs, which I will put a picture of the overclocks uh, later in the video, along with the hash rates uh, for the total rig that I'm getting. If you're interested in that, you can freeze frame it at the end of this video. But enough of that, let me go ahead and get the risers installed and the first three cards, and we will be right back. All right, so we have the three RTX 3070s up and running. I did forget to mention um, these EVGA power supplies come with uh, dual eight pins already. So you can actually connect two splitters to this, which is exactly what I did on the 6600 XT rig. I just forgot to mention it uh, on this one, but from one eight pin coming from the power supply, you can actually power four risers. So that's a fun little tidbit I wanted to share with you guys. Um, these are all hashing right at around 60 mega hash, and that is using the T-Rex miner. The newest edition does have that LHR boost. And as of filming this, it's not anything new. Um, it is the same miner that was released a few weeks ago. But now that I have these three up and going, they are mining, everything is stable. Um, I am gonna go ahead and get started on this top row and we will get our EVGA on and our two ASUS Tufts. So I will be right back and I'm gonna get these installed and then I'll talk about it a little bit with you guys. All right guys, we have the three RTX 3070 Ti's put up top there. So we have a total of six um, on here right now. I did leave room right here for a seventh. I was hoping to squeeze one in. However, on Minerstat OS, it does show 1,050 watts. That, that does not take into account system idle or anything like that. And this rig is actually completely by itself on this one PDU. And these APC PDUs do show you the draw on each bank. As you can see here, we are pulling 5.2 amps on the first bank that this is plugged into. And right here, you can see that it is pulling 1.29 kilowatts or 1,290 watts. So if we do the 80% rule, our 1,600 watt power supply times that by 0 0.8, that means we have 1,280 watts that we would run continuous through this. So with 1,280 watts, uh, we are currently again pulling 1.3 kilowatts. So we are right exactly at that 80% rule. Anything over uh, or added to this rig would bring it over. And so for now, it is not worth it. I'm going to leave six of these on here. Now, what could be worthwhile is if you could find a couple cheap power supplies, maybe a 650 watt uh, to power two of these, you could add that right down there and then have a total of eight on here. That is probably going to be something I will look into because I am running on 240. Um, so I will be on the lookout for one of those EVGA uh, B-stock power supplies so I'm able to do that. Uh, the reason for that is if you look over here, we do have two more uh, 3070 Ti's that we wanna get up and mining. So that said, I will post the overclocks that I have on these. Uh, let me go ahead and pull up our Minor stat. We do have minor stat loading up right here. As you can see, we are pulling about 350 mega hash here. That is about 60 mega hash per card. It does show that this rig is estimated to make $25 a day uh, before electricity, 177 a week and 784 a month. So I will probably do a video on this kind of like I did with the 6600 XTs kind of going over an ROI analysis and why it's worth buying these. But first, I do want to get these holding rigs filled up. As you guys saw in the other video, these are ready to go. The processors are in there, they power on. Um, the SSDs are loaded with minor stats. So um, I think I'm going to start with the NVIDIA one. I will get the 3080 LHR, the 3080 Ti put on. 
Additionally, I will probably get these 3060s going, um, and I guess I could fit these 3070 Ti's on as well. We only have a 1300 watt power supply, so I will figure that out in that video. And we do have our 3090s here that we wanna get up and going as soon as possible. We do have uh, more RX 6600 XT's. We have six, seven, eight of those, so that is going to go in its 12 GPU frame soon. This is a RX 6600 regular. I think I am going to actually throw that on the test bench once I get the 3090 taken off and with these three. I will house the 6600 XTs in this one. Um, I have the 1600 watt EVGA B stock power supply there. And we have two new um, platinum rated 1600 watt power supplies coming from EVGA. We'll probably get that next week. And I will be loading up another frame with fans and a motherboard and everything like that to get ready for another 3090 build. And yes, I still need to transition those into a frame like this. Um, honestly, I've just been kind of in a rush to get all of the cards that we have sitting up and going before I do so. But that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm glad I got these 3070 Ti's up and going. Please drop a comment down below if you have any questions on what we did here today. Again, I will include a screenshot here, which shows all the overclocks that I used. I believe it's a 215 watt power limit, 2500 memory, and a 900 core lock. But I might be missing one of those numbers, so I will include that screenshot right here for you guys to refer to. Um, if you guys use different settings, please let me know. I'm definitely interested in getting these things a little more efficient. But that's gonna be everything for this video, guys. I hope everyone watching this has a great rest of their day, and we will see you guys tomorrow.